So I have my two 20 gauge wires placed side by side and I have my gutter tape. Gutter tape is in my left hand, wires are in my right hand. With the gutter tape, I'm going to bring it in on a slight angle around the top of the wires, as close to the top, but don't worry about a little bit of the wire showing. With my right hand, I'm going to tuck that tape around. And then using two or three fingers at the back and my thumb, I'm going to grip the, the wire and the tape, and I'm now going to kind of like roll back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, and do that three or four times until the tape actually grips onto the wire. Then with your left hand, you're stretching the tape down on an angle, and with your right hand, you're rolling. Stretch, roll, stretch, roll, stretch, roll, stretch, roll. And you're working your way down the wire. It's really, really important to stretch that tape as hard as you can, that you're not overlapping and going over the same spot all the time. When you get to the very end, just tear off the tape. You can wrap in the little bit that's finished and that's your wire gutter taped. So this is the exact same thing, I'm just showing you from a different direction on the camera. So I have my two 20 gauge wires in my left hand, I have the gutter tape in my right hand. The right hand is going to come in and overlap over the tape slightly on an angle. With my right hand, I'm going to tuck in the tape and with between my two or three fingers at the back and my thumb at the front, I'm going to roll the wire back and forward, back and forward, like in the same spot, just to get the tape to kind of catch and stick. Don't worry about a tiny little bit of wire showing. So then with your hand, your left hand, you're going to pull the tape slightly down on an angle and you're going to roll. Pull the tape slightly on an angle and you roll. It's really important that both thumbs are on the wire. Don't have one hand out here. So keep your thumb close to the wire because it's the heat of your thumb is warming up the tape and as you're rubbing it down the wire, that's what makes it sticky. Your right hand is rolling the wire as tightly as you can. And that way then you're not overlapping the tape. You're keeping it on nice and thin and you're also keeping your wire as straight as possible. When you get to the very end of the wire, you just tear off the tape and that's your wire gutter taped. So first thing is get your Germanese flowers and cut them about one and a half to two centimetres in length. If you get your 20 gauge wires and if you cut them in half, so now it's possible to wire two flowers using the one wire, use the sharp scissors. You also have your gutter tape, your stem text, and that's for taping the flowers for sealing in the ends. So each flower, you grip the flower in your left hand, that's presuming you're a right-handed person. You get your 20 gauge wire and you insert the 20 gauge wire up through the bottom of the stem. Hold the stem in your hand and you may have to slightly manoeuvre it just to keep the stem straight and continue pushing the wire all the way up through to the top of the stem. Get your stem text tape, overlap it over the stem of the flower, tuck it in with your right hand and then you start that rolling technique. So it's roll and pull and you're pulling the tape to make it sticky. Now it'll be a little bit awkward where you come from the thick part of the stem onto your thin wire. Just take your time going over it because the whole idea of the tape now is to seal in the flower and to seal in any moisture and that's how your flower will last. Just break off your tape. So this time I'm going to cut the roses quite short, about two centimetres, max one and a half centimetres. Again, I'm going to use the 20 gauge wire and I find by cutting your 20 gauge wire in half, because you're going to use two pieces, these roses are quite heavy. So the first wire is going to be inserted up through the inside of the stem, like your other flowers. Now again, if you find it difficult to get it inserted up through the centre, you could go in on the outside. So there we go. So that has come out through it there, so I'm just going to pull it back. I'm just going to keep on the outside because this one has just been a little bit difficult. So on the outside, up inside it there, and then place our second wire beside it. So then getting our gutter tape, so decide do you want to use the darker green or the lighter green or the white that I've used in our previous videos. And again, I'm just going to tape the end of the flower there. Make sure that the end of it is well sealed in. We're using the double wire because these roses are quite heavy. And again, I'm going to get the second flower and the same idea, get our wire. This time I'll just try and insert it up through the centre. There we go. This one is going up a lot easier. So up inside it. And then I just need a second wire. So I'm just going to stretch across here, sorry. Just to get a second wire, which I'm just going to rest on the outside. I'm going to get my gutter tape, attach it around. And again, just tape down and making sure to secure the end of the rose stem down onto your wire. Don't cut your wire short. 
So you can see here, I've cut the eucalyptus foliage into small little sprigs. So I'm just going to place that around the rows, maybe one at the back, maybe one in at the front. And if you thought you needed the third piece, there's plenty on this one here with just the two. So now I'm just going to attach the tape around the eucalyptus stems and again, tape it. And the whole idea is to make sure that you're securing and sealing in the end of the stems of the eucalyptus. So just tape down until they're secured in and then you can break your tape. There's no need to so go all the way to the end. The same. Small little piece of eucalyptus just placed maybe at the back of the flower and a second piece at the front. If you thought you needed the third, you can. Just catch your tape around it and again tape and make sure that you secure in the ends of the stem. Now again in previous videos I've showed you how to attach jip onto it and you could attach jip if you would prefer. So you will need up to about 12 roses in total to make this flower crown.